What the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle in order to talk about another heavy, healthy portion of Global Dokkan Shaft. Hit my thought. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite sized rappers now sense in my home. In case you guys have no idea what I'm going on about, a little bit of an update in the news. Update 4.14.4 has been released. You have to go into the App Store, you have to go into the Play Store, download that new version of the game. Oh man, how exciting it is to download a new version of the game. Normally, typically, usually, you like going into that app store downloading that new version because it's got new features it's got new game modes it's got new characters it's got new summoning banners Woo! it is good stuff not this time not this time this time you click on it fix some bugs 4.14.4 <laughs> has been released the update detail is as follows fixed some bugs please update the game through the app store and google play now, why am I so disappointed that they fix some bugs? Hey, they fix bugs. That's good. You know, game makers should be fixing bugs all the time, in my opinion. Yeah, that's solid. Very good. Very good. Here is the problem. Here is the issue. Here is the shaft. The heavy amount of shaft that we got. Let's take a look at the latest announcement here regarding the emergency maintenance. Updated. Once again, updated. Let's click on it. The issues mentioned below have been fixed in update 14. Point fourteen, point four. The game now functions normally. What are they talking about? Well, of course, there was an issue that lasted for a week where if you use the support item anywhere, the game crashed. If you use the support item anywhere, the game crashed. Doesn't matter where it was. It could be in quest. It could be in challenge mode, Dokkan event. Uh, it could be just doing a story. Doesn't matter. Game would immediately crash no matter what support item you used. It was such a problem that they removed all of the non-stamina using challenging events. So we're talking about Super Battle Road. We're talking about Extreme Super Battle Road. But um, Battle, uh, Dokkan, Dokkan Battle Rush, or Battle, Battle Rush? What the hell am I saying? Boss Rush. <laughs> Legendary Goku event. Infinite Dragon Ball history. It was taken off of the menu. You couldn't access it at all. Even if you wanted to, even if you wanted to try to no item run some of these things, you couldn't because it they just got rid of it. It wasn't in your portal of memories. It wasn't in your active events. Nothing. Nowhere. Nada. Can't find it. And so here's their compensation. After a week of having the majority of your game unplayable, unplayable, right? We're talking about, listen... For people that have been playing this game for a long time, right? If you're rank 500 and above, the majority of events, you're not going to need support items on, all right? I've done plenty of no item Super Battle Road. I've done plenty of no item Infinite Dragon Ball History. I've done plenty of no item Legendary Goku event, all right? Uh, because I have the characters and them fully built up, you know, a lot of rainbow units. I have the teams available to do so. I have multiple teams available to do so, all right? But someone who's let's just say rank 300 or below, or maybe you are rank 500, 600, 700, but you just haven't summoned as much because you're free to play or whatever the case is, uh, you can't, you know, jump into any of these events, uh, even Dokkan events. For example, if your best team right now is, let's just say Team Bardock, uh, because you're a newer player, even Dokkan events you can't beat or, or at least some of them without using an item, right? You can have a bad run where you just get hit by super attack after super attack on certain Dokkan events, and you need to use a Sensu Beat. You need to use a Princess Snake, whatever the case is. Game can't function because it would crash. That is BS, and it went on for a week. And now they're saying, hey, we understand. We understand that probably, you know, 90% of our player base was affected by this. Uh, 95%, right? The the ten, the five or ten percent of people that don't need support items anywhere, which is very few and far between, because even you know, uh, not everyone's trying to do a no item super battle road or whatever the case is. Um, 
those people weren't affected, but whatever. Okay, 90 to 95% of our player base was affected for a full seven days. We apologize, especially right before a massive Saiyan Day celebration. Hey, we understand. World Tournament was about to come out. World Tournament, you need to use support items to be able to, you know, rank up high. And because of the issue, we had to delay this World Tournament. All the prizes, all the rewards, the potential orbs, the stones. We have a, a Saiyan Day banner coming up. Hype, hype. Saiyan Day brand banner with a new Super Saiyan uh, Dragon Ball Broly, right? Dragon Ball Z Broly, legendary Super Saiyan, active skill, absolutely broken. We have the Strength LR Broly. I mean, this is just bonkers. This is going to be crazy. New banner. And we had to postpone the World Tournament where you would have gotten over 50 Dragon Stones from it uh, just for getting 30 million points and, you know, doing the missions and stuff like that. Hey, we're sorry about that. Our bad. Let's make it up to you. We're going to give you three dragon stones. All right. We'll give you three. And then, um, you know, because we had to close those events. That's, that's three dragon stones should be enough. Even though we'll go over the, the amount of dragon stones you actually get from those uh, events. And three is legitimately a slap in the face. Um, hey, uh, now we noticed that we had the support item issue too, because that was just for closing the events. All right. So we'll give you three, uh, but we got to do something on, on the back end for the fact that you couldn't use support items. Uh, let's figure it out. Uh, hey, I think, uh, I think if we give all players, uh, five dragon stones for the ins issue mentioned in the announcement and issue related to the use of support items, I think that'd be pretty good, right? Not being able to use one of the functional, you know, uh, pillars of the game, support items, something that was implemented into 80% of your game, uh, except for Ultimate Clash and Extreme Z Battle. Um, you know, pretty much every single event can use support items, but the fact that if I accidentally use a support item even after you told me not to, it's going to crash my game just because, I don't know, I'm so used to using support items every single day for the past four years. Um sue me right like holy crap uh and then on top of that hey we had an emergency maintenance Whew, that thing was long wasn't it hours and hours extra time cause an issue that we couldn't fix for a week and then we had to go back into emergency maintenance yeah, i'll give you two dragon stones for that i'll give you a, a fat two dragon stones so for a total of 10 dragon stones for a game breaking bug that lasted a quarter of a month is laughable is disturbing it's disturbing that they think that 10 dragon stones is enough and uh i'll let you know right now that i reviewed the dokkan battle game like a year ago and i think i gave it like five stars or somewhere around there maybe four four and a half i don't know uh but it was definitely very high i went in there and gave him one star i went into the play store app store and gave him one star because uh, guess what? The only way that they will respond in or accept feedback is not on Twitter, not on YouTube comments. They can care less. Uh, it's with engagement on their app. If their app suddenly goes from 4.8 rating to 3.8 rating, you best believe things are going to change. The only way they will ignore that customer feedback is if revenues increase. So if they start making more money, they're not going to care much about their customer service score. If the money plateaus and stays the same or starts to go down and their customer service or their customer surveys go down as well, they will then address big time. And so I went in there, dropped the one star review because to me, that is unacceptable. I'll change it after a while, but for now, that just the, the instance of the new year's banner and then them not communicating for that long and even then they didn't communicate they were on vacation at that time hey understood understood loud and clear them giving 10 dragon stones only that was a little whatever but at least they refunded everybody's stones that was at like the the minimum that they could have done they did right the minimum the bare minimum they could have done they did it all right whatever this, the bare minimum, should have been 50 dragon stones. Bare minimum, 50. And they did one-fifth of that. They gave 10, which is embarrassing. So let's go ahead and count up. Let's go ahead and count up. Because they decided to give us dragon stones for the fact that the uh, certain events temporarily closed due to an issue. 
So they put a value to those those events being closed. They gave us three dragon stones. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's add up how much those events would have actually given us. So going over the challenge events, right? Going over the challenge events that were stripped of us, essentially. Extreme Super Battle Road, Fighting Legend Goku, Infinite Dragon Ball History, the Punch Machine, Super Battle Road, Dokkan Event, Boss Rush, and uh, Dokkan Speed Battle, which doesn't matter because it doesn't really give you anything at all. Um, let's just quickly take a look at all of these events, right? Because we have stages 1 through 10. We will eventually get stage 11 through 20, but we don't have that yet over on Global. And if we quickly take a peek down here, right? You get 8 Dragon Stones for every stage that you complete. 8 Dragon Stones. There's 10 stages, so that's 80 Dragon Stones just off of Extreme Super Battle Road. So for a full week, if someone wanted to attempt Extreme Super Battle Road, they weren't able to. It just wasn't available to them. Uh, Fighting Legend Goku. There's a lot of people out here that probably still haven't done Fighting Legend Goku. Now, <clears throat> look at the sheer amount of Dragon Stones you can get just for completing it just for beating goku each phase and just for bringing different category units five i guarantee you there's a massive amount of the player base there's a huge portion of the player base that haven't done the majority of these they were stripped of the ability to for this past week infinite dragon ball history look at all these stages literally the only ones that global doesn't have are warriors of universe 7 and affordable saiyans but look at these rewards right <clears throat> Uh, just going through every single one of the, the phases. Boom, boom, boom. Look at all those dragon stones. Same thing here. Look at all that. It's actually insane. And look how many categories there are that you can do this with, right? You go to Shadow Dragons. Look at that. Shadow Dragons gives you like 20 something stones. Just, just Shadow Dragons, right? And that's not, it's, uh, it's just crazy. Super Battle Road, same thing, right? If you take a look at Super Battle Road, let's go up. Look how many stages there are. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous how many stages of Super Battle Road, Super Battle Road we have. And then for missions, look, five Dragon Stones, every single one. Every single one, five Dragon Stones, plus one for clearing that stage. Boss Rush, dude, Boss Rush. Look at this, how many stones you get from Boss Rush. Easy stuff too. Boss Rush is not particularly difficult at this point. It's just Dokkan events. So this is just a massive amount. And if you add everything up together, you're looking at over a thousand dragon stones that were taken off of the table because of this error. That is a huge amount. 1,000 plus dragon stones is a massive, massive amount that was just not available unable to acquire for the large majority of this uh, player base and the fact that you want to reward us with 10 dragon stones 10 10 dragon stones is embarrassing so i left a one-star review and honestly i think uh i'm going to not go free to play but go as close to it as possible and um Hey, the game is your game. You can play it however you want, but I do suggest people do the same thing because once they start seeing that people are taking this seriously and uh, this isn't acceptable, uh, then I think Dokkan will start actually um, taking global uh, less for granted. Sad, sad days for global. Hopefully uh, it changes in the future. Uh, if you want to be a part of that future, you got to subscribe down below click that blue join button become a boomer elite boomer champion like chris gonzalez and wolverine gaming if you want to do it the free to play way that's fine too go ahead and gently rub that sub button gingerly ring that bell button lovingly kiss the like button as always this is periodic see y'all in the next video